Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand dynamic Manchester carry adder and go ahead and extend it to make a 4-bit dynamic Manchester carry adder. Okay, let's get started. In the previous clip, we have already seen a static Manchester carry adder. The circuit is already present on the screen where we saw different different cases and we identified that just by using generate and propagate signals we could easily get the see out functionality of my adder now what's going to happen here is the circuit was drawn keeping in mind that the pull up should need a pmos for it to produce a perfect one at the output whereas a pull down had the combination of series and mos transistors which produced a zero it's a very straightforward thing i connected a pmos in the pull up part and gave it the input as gi and pull down comprised of two nmos transistors one with an input gi and another one with an input pi bar and i also connected a pass transistor with an input to the gate spi which should be able to pass ci bar which was being taken as the input to its other terminal now we need to use the same circuit as i mentioned in the last clip that it will be exactly the same circuit and will be going ahead and drawing our dynamic manchester carry adder let's quickly see what are the only changes which we make so this is how it's going to be the circuit will stay as it is only this transistor will become my header transistor and this transistor will become my footer transistor and yes that's correct and the functionality would be achieved so this no longer now stays as my gi signal and this no longer stays as my pi signal whereas this together becomes phi and this is no longer now a static circuit it is but a dynamic circuit let's see how this dynamic circuit will operate okay so when phi is equal to 0 that's nothing but my precharge phase so when my phi is equal to 0 let's label all our transistors here so this is m1 m2 m3 and m4 when phi is equal to 0 my m4 transistor is on and this will precharge my output to vdd we have already seen this in the case of dynamic circuits so when the output is precharged to vdd that means ci plus 1 bar would be equal to vdd this is when phi is equal to 0 remember in dynamic circuits we don't do anything in the precharge phase we do everything in the evaluation phase and that is nothing but when phi is equal to 1 Before I go into phi equal to 1 case we need to understand that when phi is equal to 0 this transistor m1 is also getting a zero at its input so this will be off so the pull down path is off there is nothing present on g and p so again no inputs are present so nothing needs to be evaluated and my ci plus 1 bar will be equal to vdd when my phi is equal to 1 my m4 transistor goes off my m1 transistor will be on because it's an nmos and now we'll see what will happen when we take different values of g p and k so when phi equal to 1 let's first take gi equal to 1 that means pi and ki both are equal to 0 when gi is equal to 1 m2 is on so was m1 pi is 0 so this m3 is off so this will pull my output towards ground that means my ci plus 1 bar would be equal to 0 that also means my ci plus 1 would be equal to 1 and when gi is 1 i want my c out to be equal to 1 so the functionality is achieved when phi is equal to 1 and when gi is equal to 0 whereas pi is equal to 1 so ki is also 0 let's see what happens when pi is 1 that means this m3 transistor is on gi is 0 so this is off so pull down path is disconnected even though this is on and it's nothing but a pass transistor logic where pi is 1 and this ci bar and this ci plus 1 bar so whatever is going to be my c in will be propagated ci plus 1 bar is equal to ci bar that is nothing but ci plus 1 equal to ci so again when propagate is high i want my c out to be equal to c in so functionality is achieved and the last case when ki is 1 so generate and propagate both are going to be equal to 0 and ki is going to be equal to 1 let's see what's going to happen in this case now in this case this is 0 and this is 0 and both being nmos this is off this is off so no part to ground pass transistor is also not on so it will hold the value which it got precharge to so ci plus 1 bar would be equal to vdd that means if that's not readable i'm sorry 
C i plus one bar equal to V D D. So C i plus one is nothing but equal to zero. And when K is K is one, I want my C out to be equal to zero. That means my functionality is achieved. So what we did was very simple. We just connected our PMOS transistor and our NMOS transistor, which is connected to ground. We removed its inputs from static circuit and connected both of them together and gave it an input phi. And it became a dynamic Manchester carry adder without adding any additional circuitry. Now let's quickly go ahead and make a 4-bit Manchester carry adder in dynamic style. It's going to be the same circuit which will be replicated 4 times. So it's very simple now. I'm not going to redraw it. I've just drawn a rough sketch and together we'll label all the inputs. Let's quickly do that. Okay. Let's get started and draw a 4-bit dynamic Manchester carry adder. I have shown on the left side of my screen a dynamic Manchester carry adder with its PMOS in the pull up and an NMOS in the pull down, both having their respective inputs shorted and given an input called phi. I'm going to replicate the same circuit four different times, which I've already done it. Let's start. So this circuit is present here. Let's label all the inputs. So C I needs to be inverted. So my Input which is nothing but my C0 is inverted and given here to the first PMOS transistor. Correct? So it's PI, right? So this is going to be P0. This will be phi. This is going to be G0. This is again going to be phi. And the output from the i stage is C1 bar. We see that if this is C0, this has to be C1. And because i suffix is equal to 0, so it was G0 and P0. So this is when i is equal to 0. This is when i is equal to 1. So this is again phi, this is again phi, this becomes P1 and this becomes G1. The output is going to be C2 bar which goes to the next stage. So this becomes my third stage where i is equal to 2. So this is P2, this is G2, this is again 5, this is again 5. Remember all phi's are internally shorted so everything will happen simultaneously. And the final stage phi, phi, it's i equal to 3 so G equal to 3, G3 and P3. And this is nothing but my simple Manchester carry adder. If you want your C out in its true form, what we need to do is nothing but connect an inverter at the output everywhere. So this will give me C4. If I connect an inverter here, I'll get C3. If I connect an inverter here, I get C2. If I connect an inverter here, I get C1. And these are my respective C outs of each stage. So it's a very straightforward thing to understand dynamic Manchester carry adder. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much.